Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardo. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said cognac, ooh ooh. I said cognac, ooh ooh ooh. I'm a bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. Stern, who is a big supporter of Bulldogs. She has Bulldogs throughout the years and she is she comes to this event every year. Now tell my audience more about this rescue, uh, Bulldog Rescue. Long Island Bulldog Rescue is very near and dear to my heart. Um, they take in hundreds of Bulldogs a year that unforeseen circumstances when a family gets one they don't realize the breed and what it entails um, or just yeah, there are a lot of work, there are a lot of love, but people need to learn and uh, really, really educate themselves themselves on the breed. So what this organization does is they're able to rehome unwanted bulldogs or animals that have to be surrendered. Bulldogs have to be surrendered. And they really take time. They've got an incredible foster organization where the temporary homes for the dogs where they learn the personalities of the dogs and they're able to fit them to a, a family that wants to adopt. And it's really an incredible, incredible thing that they do. And I thank them so much from the bottom of my heart for, for just being lifesavers to so many bulldogs out there. Well, bulldogs come with a lot of health issues, but um, everybody's specific. But yeah, they are more prone to um, some some situations for sure. What do they suffer from the most? Um, their breathing issues. It's very hard for them to breathe. Um, they have. I don't know. It just depends on the individual bulldog. A lot of bulldogs can't swim, so a lot of times people don't realize that, and they think all dogs can swim, and they can't. Um, and yeah, they're very, they're expensive dogs to, to upkeep and you just have to know what you're getting before you adopt one. They're so lovable, aren't they? That's the problem. People are going out and going and buying one because they are so lovable and they're so cute, but they really have to research and understand the breed before they commit. And they want to educate one, themselves. Educate themselves and when they see that they're able to financially support in any unforeseen situations that may arise, I'm telling you having a bulldog is the greatest gift, the greatest blessing in the world but you have to commit to that bulldog's entire life for sure. Tell my audience where we could go to find out more information. What's the website? Um, the Long Island Bulldog. Uh, Long Island Bulldog Rescue. Just Google it. Long Island Bulldog Rescue. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. Happy holidays. We'll be back in a moment. More interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace, champagne, kisses. I'm Cognac with Elaine, and I'm here with one of the real housewives, and she's going to introduce herself and tell us why she's here at this fabulous event tonight. Well, hi, I'm Dolores Catania from Real Housewives of New Jersey, and I'm here, this is for Bulldog Rescue, and 
I'm a big advocate of animals, and I think that it's amazing to see everyone come out and really be a voice for these beautiful little creatures. I love them all. I have five. So. Do you really I have, have five, five rescue dogs? Yes. Wow. And I've placed many, so part of my platform of being on the show is also bringing awareness and finding homes and, you know, I, I usually pull animals off the street and Do you really? yeah, and I'll post them on Instagram, I'll find homes. Now I understand that they come with a lot of health issues, Beth Stern was telling me all about that. They do. I recently, my dad called me and he found a kitten, a, a little baby kitten outside and um, it was in the rain and it was cold. and. It just got released today, but it was in the hospital for two weeks, so sometimes I'll pay the vet. Will you really? I do, yeah. Many yeah, times you I do. You are a very sweet lady. Thank you. Say. Thank you. And then this time the, the vet really fell in love with the kid and, and, and paid. So it's a, it was an expensive little kitty, but there was a, you know, the happy ending to the end of the story is a little girl came and she would visit it every day and it went home with her. So it was really sweet. Now tell me a little bit more about what's going on with you with The Real Houses New Jersey. Are you all back for another season? Well, not technically yet, but I'm, you know. But thinking about it. They haven't, you know, we haven't been asked, no one's been asked, technically asked yet, but we haven't been told we're not either, so. Why did you think of uh, being on reality TV? Well, I have been on before off and on for years um, as a friend of or visiting. They were all my friends. So reality TV was actually fine for me. This interview will make me more nervous. I don't know why. Are you kidding me or what? Really? Nervous. Oh, you, you're a natural when it comes to the red carpet. That's Thank amazing. You. But I always feel like, I'm always living like Tom Yoro brings me here usually and he's like, okay, Dolores, turn now. So I'm still getting to learn a lot about this. Well, you're a beautiful person, a beautiful soul, and thank you for coming and being a part of this event tonight. Tell my audience, where can we go to find out more information about Long Island Rescue, Bulldog Rescue? Do you know the website? I'm, I'm sure that I'll find out. It's right there, www.longislandbulldogsrescue.org. You're gorgeous, dog. Thank you. And it's so nice to see you again. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews coming up. Keep watching. Peace, champagne. Darlings, I'm Cognac Willowane. I'm here with Grace Foster. She's a big supporter of animals. She's got about, how many Yorkies do you have? I have two. This is Portia, the older one, and the, and the little collar one. And then I have Rosie. I left her at home. So easy to just take one. Now, is this the first time you've come to uh, Long Island Bulldog Rest? No, actually, this is about the third or fourth time. But this is a new venue because it was... Uh, it was no, I'm Yes, it was an uh, NYU uh, um, facility, and uh, it, it's perfectly lovely here. It's very it's gorgeous, nice. yes. isn't it? Yes, now, tell and me. you look fantastic. So by the way. do you, I haven't seen you in a while. So do you. Now tell me, what have you been up to lately? Well, we just finished three days of a charity fashion show for Celebrity Catwalk. That wow. was really fun. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and tomorrow we actually have a photo shoot with Canine Styles Clothing that we're going to be doing. So we're keeping busy here and there, filming bits and pieces. And we can always keep up with you and follow you on Facebook. Tell absolutely, my audience. Absolutely. Facebook, Grace Portia Rosie. Uh, Grace Foster. Thank you very much. I love what she's wearing. What is she wearing? Scorch? She's actually wearing a vintage Maggie Norris. Oh from, my God, that's gorgeous. From, from years ago when Wendy Diamond had her events, this was one of the auction items, and I held on to it. Grace, you are the best. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. All these more interviews coming up. Keep watching. Pink Champagne Kisses. I'm Cognac Willa Lane. I'm here with the publisher of Resident Magazine. He's a big supporter of Bulldog Rescue. Tell my audience, is this the first time you've ever been to this event? This is my third time at the Bulldog event. They're so cute. They're so adorable. How could we not support them? I know. I, I totally agree. And you're here with this lovely blonde. And introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Melissa Cassis, the associate publisher at Resident Magazine. Weather, but 
I do not have a bulldog. Tell my audience what's going on with Resident Magazine. I see, I can see a change in that magazine. Help the Marines make Christmas possible for less fortunate children. Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots.
Santa Claus? I heard you might be him. If you are him, here's my list. Help the Marines make Christmas possible for less fortunate children. Donate a new toy to Toys for Tots. I'm Cognac Willow Lane, and I'm here with Jill Rappaport, who's a big supporter of these bulldogs, the little Long Island Bulldog Rescue. Now, tell my audience how you became involved with this organization. I think it was in 2006, and uh, wow, well, yeah, 2006, my 120 pound dog, Petey, American Bulldog, was at Animal Care and Control and had one day to live. And Lorette's had somebody rescuing dogs from the facility. And I said, how am I going to get this dog out? I need to get him out to Long Island. She said, don't worry, we'll 
we'll take care of it. I never met her. She helped me rescue and get my love of my life out of the shelter. And I'm proud to say nine years later, he's still doing so great. And I nine, You had this dog nine years ago? Yes. And he's 120 pounds, bless his heart. Yeah, he's amazing. Oh my God, you must love him to death. I have to show you his picture. His head is bigger than this table. What made you fall in love with these type of dogs? Well, I have five rescue dogs, and I have all sorts of dogs. I love all dogs. I know, I love, I know you love animals. Yeah, I know you I love the bulldogs. They always say they look how I feel. <laughs> Sometimes you look at the face and you go, oh, can I relate? Well, I love the ones that have the teeth. <laughs> They're so cute, and they've got such personalities. I just love them. You just want to take the cheeks. No, I was hoping I was going to talk to Coco and Ice Tea tonight, but I don't think they made. Oh no, I don't. I think they just lost. They just lost. Oh. I think they're devastated. That's why they're not here. They're probably so sad and devastated. Yes. Can you tell my audience where we could go to find out more information about the Bulldog Long Island Bulldog Rescue? Yeah, where you go to Long Island Bulldog Rescue dot com. It's she's unbelievable. Our philosophy, real animal, true animal advocates, it's not about a home, it's the right home. And Lorette lives by that. She doesn't care who you are, what status in the world you're at, she makes sure that it's the perfect match. So even if you say, I want that bulldog, she's going to check out your living situation, how you, if your age, if it's compatible with the age of the dog, if they have other pets in the family, she's so responsible. That's what everyone loves about Lorette. She is amazing. And oh, yes, she, she, she truly is. Yeah. And you are for being a supporter. Oh, thank, thank you. you Dawn. Thank you so much. Well, you're amazing too. And we'll be back in a moment with more interviews, more celebrities, right here at Cognac's Corner Mag.com. Pick champagne kisses. Hello, darlings. You've all heard of Marilyn Monroe. Some of you know Bridget Fardell. Well, now it's time for Dell. Well, now it's time for the cognac show. I said the cognac, ooh, ooh. I said the cognac, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm your bubbly blonde, fabulously dressed to impress. One of a kind girl. been a crybaby productions darlings